everybody, it's me, the New Year's Resolution Fairy. Every year on January 1st, children around the world make New Year's resolutions where they plan to do something better. But usually by this time, two weeks later, a lot of those New Year's resolutions have been broken. But don't worry, you guys, I'm here for you. We're going to figure out how to keep those resolutions going all the way through the year. Take, for instance, Caleb here. Caleb promised that he was going to eat more fruits and vegetables this year, but look him now. Oh, Caleb. Tisk, tisk, tisk. But don't worry, the New Year's Resolution Fairy is here with some ideas for you. With my blender here, we can make a smoothie that's just as good as junk treats. But this time, with vegetables and fruits. All you need are a couple different fruits. Got some apples, banana, a little bit of milk. You can use any kind of milk, honestly. And just to make it a little bit better, some veggies. Got some celery and carrots. You can do this with literally anything. So, presto changeo, and wowee. Here we go, a delicious smoothie just for Caleb, full of yummy fruits and vegetables. There you go, Caleb. Happy New Year. Next we have Patricia. Patricia swore up and down that she was gonna read more books and play less video games. But look at her now. Oh, Patricia, tisk, tisk, tisk. Luckily for you, the New Year's Resolution Fairy is here to help you keep your resolution. Luckily, I have lots of book recommendations. First up is The Case of the Case of Mistaken Identity, written by Mac Barnett. And this hilarious mystery, a young boy is mistaken for a spy and is chased by ninja librarians. It's a very fun read. You'll love it. Patricia is also a fan of the Harry Potter series, so for her we have Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow, written by Jessica Townsend. In this story, a cursed girl is taken away to another world and magical adventure ensues. You'll love this one, Patricia. Patricia also enjoyed reading Wonder. So we also have Insignificant Events in the Life of a Cactus, written by Dusty Bowling. In this story, a young girl with no arms moves to an Old West theme park where she learns about herself and her family and also makes friends. This is gonna be a good one. Happy reading. Jessica, 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 stop it! Jessica swore that she'd be much nicer to her little sister, Stephanie. Unfortunately, she just lost her temper. Next time, what she needs to do is to take a moment, take a deep breath, and calmly respond. So let's try that one more time. Jessica, 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 Jessica. <sighs> Stephanie, please stop. I'm trying to read. Perfect. Well, I have hoped you guys enjoyed your visit from the New Year's Resolution Fairy. Remember, try your best to keep those resolutions. Happy New Year.